Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, the difference between send redirect and the forward. Okay. Uh, first, we will see the forward method. Uh, using uh, request dispatcher object uh, forward method, we can uh, forward the request to another uh, resource for further processing. Uh, that another resource should be within the same server, and uh, another resource can be a JSP or uh, servlet. And uh, this process of uh, forwarding the request. Uh, from uh, one resource to another resource will be taken care by uh, servlet container. In this process, uh, the client browser is not involved. Okay. Uh, here you can see the web container. Uh, it has uh, uh, two servlet in it. Uh, the first one is uh, login servlet and the second one is uh, welcome servlet. Left side you can see the client uh, and it has uh, browser. The client sends uh, request to the login servlet. Then uh, what login servlet will do is it will check uh, the username and password uh, which user has entered in the browser is proper or not. If it is ok, uh, then this uh, login servlet uh, wants to forward the request to welcome servlet for uh, further processing. Okay. Then what login servlet will do is it will use uh, request dispatcher object uh, forward method to forward the request to the welcome servlet. Okay. Then this uh, welcome servlet will uh, process the request and it will generate the response and it will send the response back to the client okay so in this uh, whole process uh, the client is not involved meaning the client browser is not involved in this uh, process the web container will take care of uh, forwarding uh, request from uh, login server to welcome server okay uh, here we can see the send redirect method uh, using uh, HTTP response object uh, send redirect method, we can redirect uh, client request to some other location for uh, further processing. Okay, and uh, using send redirect method, it is uh, possible uh, to transfer control from one domain to another domain. Suppose say I am in uh, Google.com and I want to transfer control to NDTV.com, that is possible using uh, send redirect method. Uh, but it is not possible using uh, request dispatcher uh, forward method. Okay. Uh, here you can see the web container. It has uh, custom search uh, servlet. Uh, suppose uh, any request comes to the servlet, what I have to do is I have to redirect the request to Google.com. So it is uh, not possible if you are using uh, request dispatcher dot forward method because uh, uh, the google.com that uh, your is not in the same uh, container it is outside of uh, web container okay uh, so i have to use uh, send redirect uh, to redirect the request to uh, google.com okay so using http response object uh, send redirect this is possible okay so in this process uh, the client browser is involved okay so i will show you how it works uh, first uh, client browser send request to the uh, custom search uh, servlet then uh, what custom search servlet will do is it will uh, redirect the request to uh, google.com using uh, send redirect method uh, so the re uh, response uh, uh, come to uh, client browser and uh, we are using uh, send redirect method so uh, the response header will contain two things okay the first one is uh, status code which is 302 and the second one is uh, uh, location uh, the new location basically okay that is uh, google.com okay so client browser will read this status code 302 then it will understand okay i have to redirect the request to uh, new location uh, and the new location uh, the client has to get from the uh, location header of uh, response object so it will get the location header uh, that value uh, www.google.com and it will make a new request to the uh, Google server and uh, the Google server will uh, receive the request and process the request and it will send a response back to the client okay and you can clearly see uh, in this process the client browser is involved okay uh, here we can see the difference between uh, forward method and uh, send redirect method uh, the first difference is uh, the forward method works at server side and uh, send redirect method works at client side and the second one is uh, it sends uh, same request and response objects to another uh, servlet uh, but in case of uh, send redirect it always sends a new request because uh, client is involved in this one okay 
and the forward method can works uh, within the server only uh, but uh, send redirect it can used within the server and outside the server okay both is possible but in case of uh, forward it works only within the uh, server okay and the fourth one is uh, in forward uh, we can't see the forward address uh, in the address bar of the browser okay because client is not involved in this uh, process but in case of redirect we can see the redirect address in the address bar of uh, our browser okay uh, using forward method we can transfer control uh, within the same domain okay uh, suppose uh, if you want to transfer control to a different domain then uh, we have to use uh, redirect okay Uh, in forward uh, server tells the client I will serve you but I will take over the request to one of my co-workers and that co-worker will end up serving you okay but in case of redirect server tells the client I can't serve you at this point of time you go and tell someone else to serve you and here is the address of that uh, someone else okay and uh, this is about uh, difference between send redirect and forward and uh, thanks for watching bye